Today's scripture passage comes from Matthew's Gospel, the 13th chapter. And it's a, a scripture passage we're all familiar with. It is the story of the explanation that Christ gives to his disciples about the, the weeds and the wheat. And he explains to them that there was a farmer who sowed his, his fields with wonderful wheat. And in the night, uh, a thief came a bandit, a bad guy, and sowed amongst all of the wheat in the field weeds. And that the farmer's workers came and said, should we rip up everything? Should we just tear it all down? Should we just eliminate all of the weeds and the wheat because someone evil has done this to your fields? And the farmer says, no, let us wait. And when harvest time comes, we will then select the wheat from the weeds. And we will take the weeds and put them in the fire. Christ explains to his apostles that the one who sowed the wheat was, was the Father, and that it was God, and that the evil one that came and did the evil thing were the children of evil, and that when the harvest time comes, that's the time of the end of the ages when the wheat and the weeds, the good and the bad, will be separated. And those who are weeds will suffer grinding of teeth. Oh, my goodness. So what does all this mean to you and I for us today? Well, the truth is we all have a little bit of weeds in us. We all have some wheat within us. It's the world in which we live, we are both wheat and weeds. Oh, too often we look around our parish and wonder who the wheat and the weeds are. Because you see, the farmer didn't ask or didn't want the field disturbed because early on the wheat and the weeds, they can be misidentified. They look the same. And so what do we do? How do we know are we, we, if we are wheat or weeds? How do we know if someone else is wheat or weeds? How do we do this? And, and there's this very ancient story about good and evil, that they grow together, good and evil do, in us in animals. And what is that which grows the best? What happens to flourish? What is the one that makes itself manifest and becomes the strongest? Well, the old Native American story tells us the one that you nourish, the one that you feed, is the one that will grow. <laughs> That's in you and I, isn't it? The good that is within us, the wheat, as it were. The wheat is the manifestation of patience and kindness and forgiveness and joy. Are we nourishing that? Are we nourishing encouragement and faith and honesty and truth? Are we supportive of our brothers and sisters? Do we proclaim on Sunday that we love one another and live that proclamation on Monday? You see, that's what we nourish, that which grows, that which overcomes the weeds or the wheat that is nourished with the goodness that we are called to be. What are you nourishing? Because certainly there are weeds that get nourished anger and jealousy and pride and power, bullying, revenge, instead of forgiveness, anger held close that blots out all opportunity for love to flourish, the desire to hurt, to overcome, to overpower, just for your own sake. Are you nourishing that which is good? that which is bad? Do we surround ourselves with goodness, kindness, 
living that truly every moment of our lives? Are we nourishing the wheat? Well, that's the objective, is it not? That when we wake up every morning, we nourish our wheat by saying, Lord, what are we going to do today? I'd like to uh, thank Frank Thomas and Fran for visiting me at St. Mary's and for Chris and Leslie for in Oregon who called. May God bless you all.